I'm going to write some code for depth first search. It is super simple code. Probably the, sim the simplest graph algorithm. That's it. I'm going to write a little bit of code after this, but uh, this is basic depth first search. This will visit all the vertices reachable from a given source vertex S. So we're given the adjacency list. I don't know why I put V here. You could erase it. It's not necessary. Uh, and all we do is we have a vertex V. Sorry, we have a vertex S. We look at all of the outgoing edges from S. For each one, I call it V. We uh, check, have I visited this vertex already? So the one careful place where we need to be careful is to not repeat vertices. We had to do this in VFS as well. So uh, the way we're going to do that is by setting the parent of a node. We'll see what that actually means later. Uh, but for now, it's just, are you in the parent structure or not? This is initially, uh, we've seen S. So we give it a parent of nothing, but it exists in this dictionary. Uh, if, it's, if the vertex V that we're looking at is not in our dictionary, we haven't seen it yet, uh, we mark it as seen by setting its parent to S, and then we recursively visit it. That's it. Super simple. Just recurse. The, sort of the magical part is the preventing yourself from re repeating. As you explore the graph, uh, if you reach something you've already seen before, you just skip it again. So you only re visit every vertex once, at most once. This will not visit the entire graph. It'll only visit the vertices reachable from S. The next part of the code I'd like to give you is uh, for visiting all the vertices. And in the textbook, this is called DFS, whereas this is just called DFS visit. That's sort of the recursive part. And this is sort of a top level algorithm. Here we are going to use the set of vertices v. So it looks almost the same, uh, but what we're iterating over is different. Here we're iterating over the outgoing edges from s. Here we're iterating over the choices of s. And uh, so the idea here is we don't really know where to start our search. If it's a disconnected graph or not a strongly connected graph, we might have to start our search multiple times. This DFS algorithm is finding all the possible places you might start the search and trying them all. So it's like, OK, let's try the first vertex. If that hasn't been visited, which initially nothing's been visited, then uh, visit it recursively, everything reachable from S. Then you go on to the second vertex. Now, you may have already visited it. Then you skip it. Third vertex, maybe you visited it already. Third, ver fourth vertex, keep going until you find some vertex you haven't visited at all. And then you recursively visit everything reachable from it. OK, and you repeat. This will find all the different clusters, all the different strongly connected components of your graph. Most of the work is being done by this recursion. But then there's this top level just to make sure that all the vertices get visited. Let's do a little example. So this is super clear. And then it will also let me uh, do something called edge classification. Once we see every edge in the graph gets visited by DFS in one way or another, and it's really helpful to think about the different ways they can be visited. So here's a graph. I think it's the similar to one from last class. Good. It's not strongly connected, I don't think. No, so you can't get from these vertices to C. You can get from C to everywhere, it looks like. but. Not strongly connected. And we're going to run DFS. And I think basically in alphabetical order uh, is how we're imagining. These vertices have to be ordered somehow. We don't really care how, but for sake of example, I care. Uh, so we're going to start with A. That's our fir the first vertex in here. We're going to recursively visit everything reachable from A. So we enter here with S equals A. So I'll mark this uh, S1 to be 
the first value of s at, at this level. Uh, so we consider, and I've got to check the order here. First edge we look at, there's two outgoing edges. Let's say we look at this one first. Uh, we look at B. B has not been visited yet, has no parent pointer. So this one has a parent pointer of no. Uh, B, we're going to give a parent pointer of A. That's here. Then we recursively visit everything from B. So we look at all the outgoing edges from B. There's only one. So we visit this edge. Great. Uh, from B to E. E has not been visited, so we set its parent pointer to B. Uh, and now we recursively visit E. E has only one outgoing edge, so we look at it. Over here to D. Uh, D has not been visited, so we set parent pointer to E. And we look at all the outgoing edges from D. D has one outgoing edge, which is to B. B has already been visited, so we skip that one. Nothing to do. That's the, the else case of this if. We do nothing in the else case. We just go to the next edge. But there's no next edge for D, so we're done. So this algorithm returns to the next level up. Next level up was E. We were iterating over the outgoing edges from E. But there was only one, so we're done. So E finishes. Then we go back, we backtrack to B, uh, which is always going back along the parent pointer. But it's also just in the recursion. We know where to go back to. We were going over the outgoing edges from B. There was only one. We're done. Uh, so we go back to A. We only looked at one outgoing edge from A. There's another outgoing edge, which is this one. Uh, but we've already visited D, so we skip over that one too. So we're done recursively visiting everything reachable from A. Uh, now we go back to this loop, the outer loop. So we did A. Next we look at B. We say, oh, B's been visited. We don't need to do anything from there. Then we go to C. C hasn't been visited, so we're going to loop from C. And so this is our second choice of S in this recursion, or in this uh, outer loop. And so we look at the outgoing edges from, uh, from S2. Let me match the order in the notes. Uh, let's say first we go to F. F has not been visited, so we set its parent pointer to C. Uh, then we look at all the outgoing edges from F. There's one outgoing edge from F. It goes to F. Uh, I guess I shouldn't really bold this. All right. I'll say what the bold edges mean in a moment. This is just a regular edge. We follow the edge from F to F. We see, oh, F has already been visited. It already has a parent pointer, so there's no point going down there. We're done with F. That's the only outgoing edge. We go back to C. There's one other outgoing edge. But it leads to a vertex we've already visited, namely E. And so we're done with visiting everything reachable from C. We didn't visit everything reachable from C because some of it was already visited from A. Then we go back to the outer loop, say, OK, what about D? D's been visited. What about E? E's been visited. What about F? F's been visited. So we're visiting these vertices again, but should only be twice in total. Uh, and in the end, we visit all the vertices. And in a certain sense, all the edges as well. 